Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster. Got another time lapse for you over in Beef Park. Uh, just a couple things. I uh, wanted to fill in this little front area. I tried a couple different things. Uh, actually, this tree right here, right now, it won't let me delete that tree. It was driving me crazy. Because uh, it's touching the border, so it's acting like all the trees that are outside of the border. So that's kind of annoying, but oh well, we'll just ignore it. I wanted to put a little path here. Just kind of a little walk around area. No one's really going to it because there's no destination for the NPCs to go. But, oh well, gotta get our cheap beef statues in there as well. <laughs> just taking them out first person view. Uh, just doing this, just kind of filling the area. I tried putting the building here, but I couldn't really get it how I liked. But, uh, I came up with a couple of cool ideas while I was doing this. So right now we're just putting the path and the trees and the bushes. Just kind of filling those in. Again, doing this sort of thing where you raise them and lower them and spin them to give them different types, textures, and heights. And that way, see if you lower them, you can squeeze them into small areas like that. It's really cool. Another cool thing, oh, actually right here, I wanna explain this. So I was looking for something to use as a fence, cause there's not really any fences or anything you can put on paths right now. And it's a little difficult, uh, but I was able to use this. So it's the top of these like pirate scaffolding things. So I was able to put them down and kinda got them to kinda look like little fences. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, but they don't look horrible. I think they came out all right. And then I wanted to put light sources in here with a little bit of a different style. So I was put throwing these in and I was gonna try and sink the lights on top. Uh, I actually end up throwing that out completely later and just uh, going with just the standard lights. But, you know, it's a cool idea. I like the, the usage you can have of mixing objects together. And then I went and realized that, the, oh, the interface is really big and it's kind of annoying when I'm trying to lower things below the ground. So let's go ahead and shrink it and then I'm just trying some more lowering things just get like some sort of fence or separator or posts just trying a whole bunch of different things there are uh, the for the most part it's limited as to what we have in the game right now but things you can do with them is pretty interesting like I was able to repurpose those scaffolding as some sort of fence and refilling this in area refilling in this area I mean words are hard I've been recording a lot today and so sometimes my words and thoughts and math get a little jumbled just filling in these areas. It's, if you click too fast when trying to spread them out, the camera pulls you in that direction. It's a little bit jarring. So you just kind of got to click, then click, then click, then click. Kind of you make it up as you go. Just throwing in some rocks. And then these these berry trees and bushes and stuff look real cool. Uh, again, lowering them into the ground to give them a little bit different profile. And then these bushes are nice and yellow. Technically, it's a whole tree, but if you lower it enough into the ground, it kind of looks like a bush. Just kind of breaks up the green pattern look. I think it came out quite nice. And then just scattering these through right there. Again, having to kind of zoom in so we can place them correctly. Otherwise, they get stuck on the top of the trees and the bushes and all that stuff. But I think for the most part, that's good. Uh, we finished that up there. Here, I'm looking for a guest to just kind of check out the area, make sure it looks nice. Again, no one is walking through that. Eventually, I hope they do add benches in the game, because the previous Roller Coaster Tycoon games uh, had benches, and people actually used them. That was always good to use. And not to mention, they would just walk around areas to enjoy the sights. I'm pretty sure. It's been a while. Uh, this is something I had a quick idea of, just like walling it in, to kind of make it feel a little bit more completed. Uh, but then I, at one point, I was like, no, that's dumb, I don't like it, and delete it. <laughs> Let's just leave that nice and open. See, it looks real nice. That one wasn't quite on the ground. There we go. Looks pretty sweet. And then we go over to Kraken Alley, which is what it's out of the name of this coaster, uh, because it has the Kraken Alley over there that kind of looks like something suggestive. And I'm trying to figure out why I couldn't edit it, but then I forgot, oh, I had unlocked coasters for this save, duh. Again, you do that by doing under construction. And I want to do a better building for this, uh, both the launch station for the roller coaster, whatever that is called, the platform, I guess, as well as the line. Right now it looks a little weird, but I'm going to be moving the entrance and exit for this coaster. Uh, but this one, I really had no idea what I want to do. I, I kind of went with the pirate theme just because that's what we have, and I did theme the kind of the coaster after that, the crack and stuff. So we went for like kind of a pirate style building. Like, you can see what I was able to do different styles of stuff with these buildings, just like with the the genie right over there. So you're not just limited to the pirate, but you know it's it's kind of in the back of my head all the time because that's one of the the themes they have in this game is pirates. So it's kind of what we're working with. And I kept many meaning to pause it during the day, just so it wouldn't turn night while I'm building, but I kind of keep forgetting. So sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Okay, so working with these sandstone walls, just getting those up, and I really want to layer a lot of stuff on there, because I'm not a big fan in this type of design of just having the blank walls. Like, 
it worked okay in the background there on the genie ride because uh, we wanted this to look like sandstone or something I mean even the 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 oh my god words are hard today <laughs> oh my god space mountain oh my god you, you ever have that moment where you can't think of something as soon as it comes out it's just like a rush of endorphins just like ah that's right the space mountain ride is driving me crazy just because it's such a big plain building but I don't really know what to do with it I guess I could just ah uh, maybe I'll cover it in lights or something it's so flat and boring but even if we had different colors that'd be amazing like for all these different wall types that would just open up so many more possibilities. I can't wait for them to add stuff. We should, from what I've heard, we should be getting a update to the next phase of the Alpha in May. That's just a rumor I've heard. I can't comment on the source or anything, but that's what I've heard. And I found this cool little sign. It's got a ship on it. kind of goes with it. I forgot exactly what it says. The screen I'm watching in my editing program is kind of small, so I can't perfectly see it. So then I'm just adding some stuff, getting some balconies going, getting a little bit more three-dimensionality to the build. And then just testing stuff, just putting stuff all around, filling in all the spaces, trying to find out what looks good while uh, maintaining the aesthetic. And this is really annoying me. So the first one would let me place it directly on the back wall, but all the other ones are trying to place it on the, uh, the, 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 the brick texture on the front. It was driving me insane. I just couldn't get it to all be the same. So I said, screw it. We're just not going to do it. I think I ended up putting something in there later. And then I love using these 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 um, these um wood posts on corners and stuff. I think they just make it look a little bit more structurally sound and maybe old-timey. I guess that's not really the word you use, but you know what I mean. Breaks up the pattern. Or breaks up the flatness. By creating the pattern. But I just got to make sure you go all the way around. Controls are a little funky there. That's super intuitive, but they know it works. So we got like the main structure done. And then I had like the coasters, shut it down, uh, just because I wanted to move those things. So I want them in the exact center. And yeah, okay, so we centered them and now I want to fix the paths. So we're going to pull these back, delete that. Even though, watch, I deleted that thing and look, it just reappears randomly. I don't know why, but oh uh, well. I do have one regret of this build, though. Well, I don't know if it's kind of a regret. So we do this kind of a longer queue system uh, for the entrance, but then the exits, I end up just going just straight across. Like, I was going to copy it. Yeah, I started to do it right there. Then I stopped myself. But the end result being that the main structure around this just ends up being a little asymmetrical, but it does open up a sector over here that we're allowed to do a little bit more decorating. So that kind of worked out. I don't know. I have mixed feelings on that. Uh, so basically, I'm going to make this the courtyard for this building. Oh, and I just remembered I forgot to do something that I totally meant to do. And that was fix the path so they're actually centered. Yeah, I was going to change the path so they're actually centered on these wall openings. But I kind of forgot to. It doesn't look super bad. Uh, but it'll bug me and I'll definitely go fix that. Okay, got that going. And it, it, it always amazes me in this game how plain things look until you start to dress them up. So I know a lot of people would just like stop there, like, okay, we got a wall, but just just start adding stuff. Like, just make everything look intentional, make everything look detailed. I mean, that's the great thing about this modular building is the infinite possibilities. Like, I never feel like I'm actually done with things because I'll occasionally go back and add something to uh, all my builds. Like, I probably have done that and haven't told you about it. So there's a bunch of park stuff, bark, stuff in the park you've seen or you haven't seen just because I haven't gone through it. And right here, I'm just adding this layer. Uh, I probably should have had that on the outside too. Just kind of give the wall a little bit more thickness. And I kind of like having the larger base. Looks a little bit, I don't know, more realistic in my opinion. And then just throwing these up all around. I When I was placing these, when I started placing them, I did not know they were actually light sources. So that's pretty cool. They ended up just giving off light. Cue the music. There we go. <laughs> uh, I can see when it starts and stops. So then just trying to fill in the areas, just trying to make it look like, like a pirate village or a pirate location. I don't know, basically just using all the props we had, just kind of throw in there. Make it all nice and pirate themed. And I forgot to pause it again, so it's nighttime. The nighttime is only useful for when I'm actually trying to show you guys what the lighting effects are doing. Uh, so we're put, trying to, we're playing with lights right now, but I don't actually end up placing real lights on the ground like that until it's daytime. Uh, but we do have a nice little shot at the end to show you the kind of lighting I used in here. It came out pretty cool.
And then just doing some more decorating. That barrel thing is really fun. I don't know why I find it so entertaining. Just how the barrels kind of fall out of it. And did I actually pause it? I think I did pause it. So it's eight day time. Hooray! I finally remembered. <laughs> yep. And the, the, the main thing to remember, if you're using, like right there, I had those two fruit carts. So you have multiple things by each other. You don't want to make, you don't want it easy to tell that it's the same object. So if you do end up using the same object in several cases like that, you want to add things like add those other barrels to kind of break up the pattern of the same object. That's just it, just, it just helps things look a little bit more natural. Because in a situation like this, you don't want things that are perfectly identical. And then just going in the first person and kind of taking a look, but it's coming out pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. And throwing in a well in there, and then we're gonna grab some lights. And I think I ended up going with yellow lights, if I remember. Yep, so see them in the bush uh, as I do, just to hide them. And then pointing them at the main building and all around. Just going to the first person again, <laughs> watching the barrels. I told you I like the barrels, they're funny. <laughs> and then it's looking inside, and I just realized there, okay, the camera's freaking out. I thought I got this part out, but I guess not. Yeah, I did actually forget to fill in the back of the building, but I do eventually remember. So just hold your horses, hold the angry comments, and then just trying to make like a storage area outside under those canopies. Just filling it in with the stuff. Trying to delete that last one just because I didn't want to put anything there. And then trying to... I, I didn't like how flat the wall was on the outside. I wanted to add some more pattern, so... This is one of the things where when I started doing it, I really didn't like how it looked, but once it was complete and I had all the layers on, it looked really good. So I have these little stub things just sticking out there, just trying to get them on all the walls, all the way around. See back there, okay, now I realized it. <laughs> there you go, round of applause, I finally remembered. Good for me. Then just hang in these old Jolly Roger canopies. Oh, did they have the Jolly Roger on it? I don't think it actually did. And then these things. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about. Where Right now it doesn't look very good. And the whole time I was building it, I'm like, I don't think this looks very good. Even when I had the second bottom layer on there, I'm like, eh. That doesn't look that great. It wasn't until we put the third layer on that I finally decided it was good. That's the difficult thing about making time lapses like this. Because I don't know. I said like Christopher Walken. I don't know. If things are gonna look good. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. But here, as soon as I block out of the video, see, I think that looks great. Oh, it looks beautiful. Go into that person's camera mode. Yeah, halfway through it didn't look good, two thirds way through it didn't look good, but as soon as we got the top layer on, the whole pattern emerged and it looked fantastic. Just dressing up the area around with some palm trees and some bushes. Making it look all purty. Just kind of disrupting that flat green look of the grass everywhere. So that's one thing I find most unattractive. I, I removed that. I don't know why. I guess I just ended up not liking the look of it. But I think we should... Yep. we just checking it out. Out of... Uh, out of the speed up. Out of the time lapse. Just taking some looks in. I really do want just a kind of a, like a cinematic camera so I can pan around. So that would make this a lot easier. I think you can kind of trick it by uh, changing the scroll speed. Bad, yeah, looks pretty nice. I also want to be able to hide the UI. Be super useful. And then we have the lights there. So if we go on at nighttime, ooh, look how cool that looks. Oh, we look at the coaster going, the moon. And for some reason, this NPC was decided <laughs> he decided to be a jerk and just cut everybody in line. So he's just walking through people. I don't know why. Like, because everyone, as people get in, they just line up. So there's there's some sort of bug or glitch there where this person decided to just to walk through. Yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Leave a like if you did enjoy. If you want to see more Planet Coaster in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye.